Well, hello, little doggies. It's me, Jeremy Redmeans, recording once again with Syntact from scratch. We're going to make something on the Electron Syntact. I think we're actually going to go for like a little atmospheric drum and bass thing today. Today being the same day I filmed all the other ones because I'm just working through some performance anxiety for my show tonight. And I just want to make some music, keep my brain focused. It really, really helps. Hi, my dog. How are you doing, dog? If this video goes out in August, which I'm assuming it may, here is a shirt you can buy. I am currently running a campaign on Bonfire. This shirt and all the hoodies and all the pullovers and all the other comfy things, all the proceeds are going to the National Abortion Federation. Um, and uh, all of them, all the money, just going to abortion rights. Something that I think is important right now. Buy a shirt, please. Link in description. Buy a hoodie. Buy this friend. Uh, his name is Horace. I guess. I don't know. Caw. Buy a shirt. Atmospheric drum and bass. We're going to need to actually, I think, nail down the beat first. And well, actually, do we? Let's get a, let's, <laughs> I don't know where to start. So tempo. Uh, one, no swing. This is not house music. 170, 166. Let's see how fast that is. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get our sounds worked out. Silky is pretty good. Let's go silky. I like how dust, more dust. Cool, my cat's in here now. That sounds good. Snare, let's do something interesting for this. Minimal drum and bass. We want to keep things really, really small. Just adding more syncopation there. We really need to like build up that feeling of breakbeat. For you, this is the cymbal engine. So we really don't have like a ton of choices here. Um, probably. little tiny bit of modulation on the decay time with random and hold, which I've been doing for all of these. Just a tiny bit. Let's go mess with our rim shot a little bit. Drums are really important, obviously, here. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize we get like a little trap snare out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and add some delay to that. Nice. Go to our delay, try a little bit of width. Hey, that's not bad. Side chaining this early, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, effects, and I'm going to route these friends to effects for right now. We'll just say five, six, seven, eight, and our effects here, and uh, we will go and draw in some trigs to uh, pump our side chain.
Okay, so let's um, theoretically add some more uh, drum accents. This is gonna be a very percussion heavy one. So we'll go into synth for here. kind of be like a slow rise. You can use a really fast LFO on pan to get a stereo width out of it. I'll show you what that means. Before. After. Doesn't work great on all sounds, but it works for this one. accent. So I only want that to happen every eight bars. So what I'm going to do is come in here and set this to one of two. Like the other ones were set to one of two, these will all be set to two of two. So they will call and response each other across eight bars. So we can create an eight bar phrase, which is pretty nice, if you ask me. And I know you didn't, because you can't talk to me. It's impossible for you to speak to me. And let's go ahead and adjust this a bit more. I'm gonna put a random on that feedback. I like the way that sounds. Do 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 do. I'm gonna give this a little bit of random as well. I really want all this stuff to have its own sort of life. Uh, and that's what these LSVOs are for. Uh, let's go to synth chord uh, balance. Now, if Electron wanted to take this chord to the next level, this chord engine, I was thinking about this the other day. Instead of having to go in and trig lock like all the different chord shapes and uh, notes that you want, which is very cumbersome, um, what if you could like set uh, the keys on here to be the different notes and chords that you wanted, almost like a chord memory thing, and then you could play them. I think that would be freaking dope uh, and really, really add a lot to the usability of the chord engine. Let's play with this one a little bit. We're not giving this anything. Uh, let's see, waveform, depth, random. Oh, excuse me, hold. Everything gets the random hold treatment. And for the second one, let's go into... Let's try this. Amp attack time.
now it's time to play. Thank you for watching. I usually do a little control all play out here where I uh, use the control all feature, which is where you hold down track and um, you can manipulate all the stuff here. That plus mutes. You manipulate it all at the same time is what I mean to say. You'll see what I mean. Um, that plus mutes is how I perform I make these little patterns and then I have some fun with them. There we go. That'll be my beginning. Okay, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Please buy a shirt to support abortion rights. Caw, motherfucker. Let's do bonfire. Check the link in the video description.